we were able to come across the presence of rice phytoliths oh. in the coprolites that showed that rice family existed that time. Okay. So they were not uh, much. So that time the flora existed, but what type of habitat they were eating, it, it became very important for us. But in uh, 2000, mm. I got a big catch of coprolites okay. in Pisdura area also, okay. in, in one of the fields in that area. Mm. And there uh, I found that all these coprolites, every, I am telling you, every second or third coprolites, which I was trying to break in the field, it has a plant tissues inside. Uh. Everything. So that shows me, oh, these are herbivores. And then uh, when I tried to study and prepare uh, polyxation, thick station, and then they showed me presence of this angiosperm, flowers where they are, inside these small sticks where they are. Do we also know that uh, there were some omnivores as well? Uh, even the sauropods of Titanosa, like in Argentina, they were able to find uh, in some of the ascoprolites uh, some fish. Oh. Fishes like that. Okay. But we really don't know whether they ingested those small By fishes. mistake. Mistake or they were really, they can thrive it. Uh-huh. But then uh, it is very interesting that uh, in one of the specimens, I got a turtle, okay. which it, to me looked like a regurgitate. Okay. Like yeah, it so it must have swallowed it and it came out. Okay, it so the turtle mark. was spewed out. It was a small. Because oh. here if you go to Dongarga, are beautiful turtles. Oh. Small size, big size. And sometimes you get of such a, it, you, it looks like a family if they were living together. Oh, wow. 